Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my walkthrough of Dark Souls 3. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way to the High Wall of Lothric. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did a couple of things. Number one, I farmed up almost 13,000 souls. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that now. I also went ahead and put my fire bombs on my quick slot. And then I bought myself 99 wood arrows. You're going to want at least 99 wood arrows unless you're a pyromancer or a sorcerer or somebody that can cast spells. If you can cast spells... Don't worry about this part, but if you can't, you're going to want at least 99 arrows. Now, my class started out with 30 arrows, so all I had to do is buy 69. So, if you don't have your starting class as a thief, you're probably going to have to buy the 99. Alright, and that's all I did. Let's go ahead and level up. Ashen 1. Produce the coiled sword at the bonfire. The mark of ash will guide thee to the land of the lords. To Lothric, where the homes of the lords converge. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Okay, so if you are going to do the same class as me, you're going to want at least 14 into dex. Even if you're not and you want to use the longbow, you have to have at least 14 in your dex. Also, if you want to use the claymore, you're going to want 16 into strength. And then we can put 2 into vitality, 1 into endurance, and then 1 into vigor. And that should be good. Also, for everybody that may not have 10 intelligence, you're going to want to have this up to 10. A little later into the game, we're going to talk to an NPC, and he will not come back to Firelink Shrine until you have at least 10 intelligence. So if you don't have that, either do it now or wait until after we get done with the High Wall of Lothric and put like one or two or however many it's going to take to into your intelligence to get it to 10. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Let's go ahead and rest at the bonfire and travel to the high wall of Lothric. Let's go through these double doors here. And here is our first look at Lothric. This place is massive. Let's go ahead and light this bonfire. And then we're going to come over here. Kill this enemy right here. We're going to hop down. We want to get the attention of this dog. Don't worry about that dog for now. I'm gonna hop down here. Make sure that guy didn't wake up. Just make sure not to come over here because then you're gonna be fighting this guy and the big dude with the axe. Which is never any fun. Okay, we have a guy over here that's got a pole arm. We want to get his attention. Get a backstab on him. Just make sure whenever you're doing backstabs and parries and stuff for the critical, you have to stop yourself and then hit R1 
right behind him. If you're still in a moving action, you're just going to hit him. So keep that in mind. We're going to come up here. We're going to put our fire bombs on. This is the hardest part of this area. Doesn't help with the archer. Now we're in a really bad position here. Let's try to run up here. Hopefully we won't die. There we go. Usually the Puss of Man will kill the Archer. Unfortunately, he did not this time, which sucks, but what are you going to do? So the reason we want to kill the Puss of Man is because we'll get a Titanite Shard and an Ember. If you kill that guy before he becomes the Puss of Man, those will not drop for you. We're going to pick up the Longbow and some Standard Arrows. We get 12 Standard Arrows. Let's go ahead and equip our longbow. And then um, I'm going to keep the fire bombs on because we're going to pick up some more and they will be useful. So just making sure we killed all of them where the puss of man killed all of them. And we are low on Estus. But the good thing is, is we're going to backtrack and get ourselves some uh, Estus by resting at the bonfire. So every time you rest at a bonfire, it will replenish your Estus and repair your weapons. Go ahead and get five Estus back. And this is why I don't recommend people starting out as a thief class because you are going to struggle. Even if you're like really good at the game, you're going to struggle a little bit. There's just so much at the beginning that can mess you up. And you do so little damage with this bandit's knife or dagger, whatever it is. I think it's a bandit's knife, but regardless. I'm just killing all these guys. I want to maximize our souls. The more souls, the merrier. You don't have to kill all these guys. If you want, you can put your sign down, be summoned in to help other people to co-op with them. And get yourself souls that way. By the way, these guys with the lantern that I killed, when they scream, they will wake up all the enemies. So you want to be very careful and kill them first. Over anything else, kill them first. Grab some binoculars. We'll hop down right here. And then we're going to come around this side of the dragon. Hop down right here and grab ourselves some gold pine resin. It's a really good buff for your weapon when you're fighting dragons.
Got some more fire bombs there. And then we can hop down right here. Hop down right here. Pick ourselves up a soul of a deserted corpse. And then right here. Remember what I said? Kick their shield away. Get that crit. Take him out. Awesome. He just dropped us a Titanite shard. We want as many of those as we can get. We're going to run up these stairs. Do not stop. Keep running. Run straight ahead. Open up this door. The dragon's going to kill most of the enemies. Some more fire bombs. That's awesome. So what I like to do is I like to come out here, make sure that you heal yourself up. You want to make sure that you're at max health. Hit this mimic. Get it to chase you. Keep getting it to chase you. Did it de-aggro? I think it de-aggroed. That's okay. It's not a big deal. We're not even going to worry about the mimic. Now, if you can get it to chase you out here, you can get the fire to kill the mimic for you. For now, we're just going to aim at this dragon's foot. And we're going to use our standard arrows first. We're just going to make sure that we're continu continuously hitting the dragon. This is going to take a good minute. Now if you get summoned into somebody else's world, all the damage that you do to this dragon is going to disappear. So make sure that you don't put your sign down for others to summon you in, because then you're just going to waste your arrows. Awesome. Got ourselves a large Titanite shard. Wait for the fire to dissipate. Grab some trousers, an ember, a club. We're going to top off our health. And then right over here, my favorite weapon in the game, the Claymore. We're going to put that on immediately. Grab that large soul of a deserted corpse. And then we're going to two-hand our weapon here. And go find that mimic. Now the mimic, once it de-aggros, it will turn back into a chest. And how you know that it's a mimic is if you see the chain furled out like that, that's how you know that it's a mimic. You can also see it breathing every now and then. It'll kind of lightly open up its mouth. If it's curled backwards, like it's curled in a circle facing backwards, that is a regular chest. Kind of see its mouth moving a little bit. Let's go ahead and kill it. That was very lucky. I staggered them. They have very little poise and they hit really hard. Do not let them kick you. Do not let them grab you. They grab you. You are done for, especially this early in the game. You might be able to get away with it when you're later into the game, but early into the game, they grab you. 
You're done. Right here, we're going to pick up the deep battle axe. Pretty good strength weapon. Imbued with dark. We're going to open up this door. Be very careful. We're going to have a Lothric Knight pathing through. We're going to see if we can't parry this guy. Perfect. Now we have another bonfire coming up. So if you're low on Estus, that's okay. You can refill it here in just a moment. Now this part right here is just a hot mess. You have an archer and a, a just plethora of enemies attacking you all at the same time. I like to lure them out one by one, especially with that archer right there and the guy with the shield and spear. It just makes things a little bit more difficult when you're trying to fight the archer and the shield bearer. There we go. Took care of all those guys. Even got an Estus back. Awesome. Over to your left, you're gonna have a thief. And then we're going to come up here, light ourselves a bonfire, and then we're going to sit at it. Grab ourselves a Titanite shard. And then we're going to wait for that knight to go through the doorway. Take out this thief. Be careful, they can use throwing knives. They can also drop them, which can be handy if you're trying to lure in an enemy. Pick up three fire bombs, and then we want to drop on top of this enemy, and then be very careful. We have a thief that's going to ambush us. Jeez, all the deserter trousers today, huh? We're going to slide down this ladder. Go ahead and take out the guy with the pole arm. And then we want to take this at a sprint. There's a guy that's going to throw fire bombs. If you let him throw them, it can blow up a bunch of those oil barrels and then you're going to have a bad day. Possibly even die. Get the mail breaker there. Down here we have a door with an NPC behind it. We cannot open it up just yet. It's locked. So we're going to have to find the key. The key is not too far away. We'll be getting that shortly. Want to roll through these barrels here. Grab some throwing knives. over to the right pick up a soul of a deserted corpse oh, a little early there Ooh. sneaking up on me take those two guys out so you have one guy right there and then there's one guy over here by the ladder so just keep that in mind all right we have another puss of man we're gonna let this guy come out Now turn around, run, 
Go up this ladder as fast as you can. Oh, he didn't want to chase me. That's okay. I'll just throw some fire bombs at him. They're very, very weak to fire. If you're a pyromancer, you're just going to have a really easy time killing the puss of man. We get another titanite shard and an ember. Get a raw gem from him. That is a random drop. That is not a guaranteed drop. But, right here we have a crystal lizard. And we're going to get a raw gem from the crystal lizard. So if you didn't get a drop from the guy over here, don't worry about it. You'll get a raw gem from the crystal lizard. By the way, on New Game Plus, if you jump over to that roof, there will be a ring. So if you want to write that down just in case you want to do a new game plus and a new game plus two run, you know where to get some of these rings. Take this guy out. Be very, very careful. There is a guy off to the back shooting arrows at us or bolts. Because they're not arrows, they're crossbow bolts. want to be very careful there's going to be a Lothric knight pathing through here this one's going to be having a shield and a spear in my opinion much harder than the regular Lothric knights just because they can block your damage grab a tight knight shard kill that guy and we can see the Lothric knight just there we're going to let him path back come over here Smash through this stuff. Grab two undead hunter's charms. I don't even try to parry these guys. It's not worth it to me. Just try to um, out DPS them. I'm going to come over here. We're going to grab an item real quick. We'll be coming back up here once we finish up the uh, bottom half here, killing all the enemies and whatnot. Grab ourselves a broadsword. Pretty decent starter item, by the way, that broadsword. I wouldn't say it's a sword that you would want to bring through the whole game, but it's a good starter weapon. Grab the Silver Eagle Kite Shield, and then we're going to pull out our bow. And we have a dog down there. We're going to grab its attention. Want to pick these enemies off one by one. So get it to come over here. Maybe. What are you doing? Get his attention. These enemies today are on a different level, aren't they? Go ahead and get the attention of that enemy there. Just keep uh, shooting them. Switch back over to your weapon, your main weapon. Whether it's the Claymore or it is something else. Oh, I just missed him. Of course I did. Over 
here. Grab a Titanite Shard. And then right over here, we're going to get ourselves an Estus Shard. So we'll be able to have six flasks, not five. Take out that dog and get the cell key. We're going to be bringing that back to the cell where we saw the NPC earlier. That was locked up in the cell. I feel like I'm saying that word a lot. I'm going to come down over here and get the Astora Straight Sword. Now this sword you could bring all the way through the game. You could make it a really good strength weapon. Uh, you could make it a decent quality weapon. I wouldn't say that it, it's a great quality weapon, but it'll do decent damage. Now we're going to come up here. We're just going to backtrack over to the cell. Everything's still dead. We haven't rest at a bonfire, so we don't have to worry about that. Hop down this way. And then we are about to meet Gray Rat. Really cool NPC. I like Grey Rat. Ah. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town, not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Huh? We're going to grant his request. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. So he gave us the blue tear stone ring. It's actually a pretty decent ring to put on early in the game. So when your HP gets low, your damage absorption goes up. Good stuff. Especially with us having low health. Well, not technically low health, but very little health at the moment until we start gaining more levels it is a really good ring to have also this door we will be opening a little later into the walkthrough but right now we can't do anything with it i will let everybody know when we are going to be um opening up that cell door honestly it's just to get a pvp item so if you don't really care about it you can just uh, put it out of your mind and forget about it. Down there we can see a winged knight pathing back and forth. We're going to be taking him on here shortly. Actually, not even shortly, in just a second. First, we need to make our way down here. Be careful, you got one hanging off the ledge and then you got one that's kind of resting. Take on this winged knight. Mm. 
Try to get a backstab if you can. Then wind up with a charged attack. And then another backstab. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That's how it should be done. Grab an ember here and then be really careful. We have an enemy, an ambush enemy. You see this item with a rapier. And you want to grab it, but this enemy is going to hit you if you try to grab that first. Let's try to take him out. Over here to the right, we're going to have a crossbow guy, an arbalist, and then um, another one that's resting. Take this guy out first, and then take this hollow out next. I'm going to veer off to the right here. Pick ourselves up a large soul of a deserted corpse. And then we're going to get a running jump. And we're going to pick up a ring of sacrifice. So a ring of sacrifice is really interesting. If you put this on and you die, you will not lose any souls when you die. But don't do that. If you die and you lose your souls, you can go ahead and put on the ring of sacrifice when you go to make your soul run because if you die a second time after losing your souls like they're on the ground after you die and on your run back you die again those souls disappear but if you have the ring of sacrifice on they won't disappear and you have a second chance to run for your souls so keep that in mind that's the way i like to use them and a lot of veteran souls players use the ring of sacrifice just like that instead of uh, putting it on in the fear of death death is inevitable in a souls game it's a matter of being strategic on getting your souls back also just a little side note if you do die and you lose all your souls don't be discouraged it, it happens all the time even to me there's so many times that i've lost like twenty thousand souls 30,000 souls, 100,000 souls. Um, it can feel crushing, but man, you can get those souls back so easily. We're going to take this elevator up. Especially if you're playing online and helping people. So easy to get souls. Turn around, grab some throwing knives, and open up this door. Now, this door right here is where we fought those two dogs and then the big axe dude. It's at the beginning of the high wall of Lothric. So if you die, it's like a really, really good shortcut to have. We're just gonna send that elevator back up just in case we die. If we die, then we'll have a short run back to the boss because we're about to be to the boss. Right here, we have an NPC we can summon in. This is Lion Knight Albert. Let's go ahead and summon him in. I like to summon in NPCs, especially like for boss fights. Not every boss fight, but to me, it's just kind of like role play and to show everybody that you know it's okay to summon somebody in for a boss fight this game is is pretty hard you're gonna want help what are you doing my knight albert jeez he was not helping me out at all he just let me get beat up there Sitting there trying to explain uh, some stuff to everybody and Lion Knight Albert was just like, oh, you know, you got this, Mr. Wayne. While he's aggroed on Albert, go ahead and get ourselves a backstab. Another Tight Knight Shard? Oh my goodness. We're going to be able to level up our um, Claymore to plus three here in a minute if we get any more.
There we go. Get an ember. Get the lucerne. That's an okay weapon. It's not bad as pole arms go. Right here, we want to kill this knight because he's going to drop us a refined gem. And we want a refined gem to start our quality build class. Get a backstab. Oh my goodness, look at those drops, that's insane. Get the Lothric Knight Sword, really good um, quality weapon. I love using the Lothric Knight Sword for a quality build. Uh, we get the shield, pretty decent shield. Uh, most of the Lothric Knight armor is pretty decent and we get our Refine Gem. Now the Refine Gem is a guaranteed drop, everything else is not. That was just pure luck amazing luck right there let's go ahead and talk to this handmaiden ah the wait has been long unkindled one I am Emma high priestess of Lothric castle allow me to speak frankly you will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their churning homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old Concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Unkindled one, head to the high wall's base. Go through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. But beware. The dog keeps a close eye on things. The vile watchdog of the Boreal Valley. Okay, so she gave us a Covenant item. If you're playing online and you're getting invaded quite a bit, I would put the Way of the Blue on. Because what it'll do is summon in people to come help you when you're invaded. Only when you're invaded. So keep that in mind. We're going to heal real quick. We ended up getting, uh, I think, two or three Estus flasks um, for killing that knight, the blue knight. That gave us our refined gem and all that awesome Lothric knight gear. Oh, come on. I was dodging. So right here, we're going to summon in Swordmaster. Such a good NPC to summon in in this boss fight. Because he uses the Uchi Katana. He uh, can stack up bleed. Just wait for him to summon in. And then we are going to... We'll leave him on just in case. But, let's not leave those on, and we will put on the green blossom.
Let's go ahead and put our green blossom on. Be very careful. You want to stay under this guy. You don't want to get too far in front of him. Now he's going to charge at us. Ooh, Swordmaster. I think Swordmaster is going down. Nope. He healed just in time. And there you have it. We killed Vort of the Boreal Valley. And for killing him, we get the soul of the Boreal Valley Vort. We'll be doing stuff with the souls uh, a little later. For now, let's go ahead and light this bonfire. And then we're going to head back to Firelink Shrine. We're not going to go any further. We're just going to head back to Firelink Shrine, level some stuff up, and then end the video. Let's come over here to Andre. That is good, wasn't it? We're gonna reinforce our weapon. So we want to come over to the Claymore. Level it up once. Level it up twice. Now we only need four more Titanite shards. And then we're gonna go to Infuse Weapon. We're gonna come over to our Claymore. And we're gonna put a Refined Gem on it. So if you look down by our attribute bonuses on the right side of the screen, you can see that they're going to go from a D to a C. So our strength and dex are going to scale together now, and it's going up from D to C. I know I said that multiple times, but I just want to make sure everybody is um, knowing what's going on. Now we're going to reinforce our Estus. Pretty be careful, I go. <laughs> and back over here, we have um, Gray Rat. We're not gonna bother. Well, let's talk to him. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. I love Grey Rat. We'll uh, talk to him a couple more times. Do me a favor and don't forget our promise. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. A nuisance, I know, but it will help me tie up some loose ends. Goodbye, and stay safe. Oh, this place is a ball. What? Good is thievery if you've nowhere to go. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and go up here. And I think we're going to end the video right about here. And when we come back, um, I'll probably end up farming some souls over in the... Uh, uh, high Wall of Lothric. I'll try to get probably about 20,000 to 25,000 uh, souls depending on how hard I start grinding. It's up to you if you want to do it. It's not necessary. Uh, but I just like to make sure that 
I, I have plenty of levels and um, things don't seem to be such a struggle. Uh, especially if like you're a new player, uh, go help some other players out. You know, start practicing at the game and farming up some souls so that you can be a little beefier as you go through the game. All right, now that that's all been said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It means the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.